Good morning. Let me start by saying what a pleasure it is to welcome the Greek Prime Minister, Kyriakos Mitsotakis, to the European Parliament. And let me start by congratulating you, Prime Minister, on your recent election and composition of government. Today, our focus will be on the European Council, on the need to stay the course on Ukraine, on the need for an upgraded long-term EU budget and on the need to continue to deliver ahead of the upcoming European elections. And of course, we will discuss migration. Dear Kyriakos, I am aware of the challenges that your country faces, has been facing for a very long time in terms of migration. No man, woman or child should die at sea trying to reach Europe. And this isn't a Greek issue. No member state is able to cope with migration fl flows on its own. And migration is too important and too urgent to leave for the next generation of politicians to fix. This is on us. Migration also cannot be instrumentalized. We owe it to our citizens to reach an agreement on a true European asylum and migration policy before the elections and the negotiations between the Parliament and the Council have already started. We need to find a way forward that is just and humane with those in need of protection, that is fair and firm with those who are not eligible, and that is strong with those smugglers preying off the most vulnerable. And with the latest tragedy in mind, let me especially emphasize the need for us to increase our cooperation with third countries to crack down on the trafficking network. So dear Prime Minister, dear Kyriakos, Greece is the heart of Europe, and I uh, look forward to strengthening and continuing to work together uh, in the future. The floor is yours. Dear Roberta, thank you very much for this warm welcome uh, to the European Parliament. It's a real pleasure for me uh, to be back as a newly re-elected uh, Prime Minister of Greece uh, with an absolute majority uh, in uh, Parliament. Uh, I think the Greek people place their faith uh, in uh, Nea Demokratia uh, to continue to deliver sustainable uh, growth, uh, but to also strengthen the position of our country within the European Union. Uh, it's always very good to um, realize that this uh, cycle of, of pain and uh, trauma that uh, put so much strain on Greek society during the previous decade has closed for good and that Greece now uh, is a protagonist and not a laggard uh, in all important European um, developments. Let me just say a few words about the topic which you raised um, uh, regarding uh, uh, migration. And as you know, as you pointed out, there was a tragic uh, um, uh, shipwreck uh, in the international waters uh, in the Mediterranean. It occurred uh, in a period between my first and um, second uh, government while Greece was uh, under uh, a caretaker uh, administration. Uh, there is a judicial investigation underway um, uh, in order to uh, identify exactly um, what happened. But I'd like to make some broader um, uh, observations. Uh, um, uh, uh, first of all, it's a tragedy. Everyone in Greece feels immense sadness uh, over the loss of so many innocent lives. But as you pointed out, we should be in no doubt that the real blame lies uh, in the hands of the criminal gangs uh, who, who packed the boat uh, with desperate uh, people uh, in the false promise of a safe travel with, without even um, um, uh, life vests. Uh, and these gangs are despicable. They profit. Uh, from human uh, uh, misery, and we have no alternative but to break um, uh, this uh, horrific uh, smuggling of people and really go after the root cause of the problem, which is boats which are not seaworthy leaving um, uh, the coast of uh, uh, the southern uh, Mediterranean uh, and then uh, in risk of uh, a tragedy unfolding uh, at any given point. It is very, very unfair um, uh, to point the finger at the Greek Coast Guard. Uh, the Greek Coast Guard has saved uh, tens of thousands of people um, uh, in risk of dying uh, at sea. They are doing an incredibly difficult job, sometimes having to save people without life vests, people who, um, who cannot um, um, uh, swim. Uh, and uh, their priority is always um, not just to protect the external borders of the European Union, but to assist 
um, everyone uh, who is actually at, uh, at risk uh, of, uh, of drowning uh, in the sea. But my argument has been very simple from the beginning, since we took over in 2019. The fewer boats you actually have at sea, uh, the less the risk of people drowning uh, at sea. And we've been able to reduce uh, uh, migration flows by 90% uh, in the eastern Mediterranean route. This, of course, also forces us to work even closer with Turkey. So the cooperation uh, of the countries of transit is absolutely important. And I would like us to place more emphasis on establishing a similar cooperation um, with the North African countries, in particular Libya, which, as you know, is a very, very, is in a, currently in a very, very problematic um, uh, situation. Uh, last, let me point out that we're happy about the progress that has been made regarding um, uh, the migration and uh, asylum uh, pact. We've been advocating for a long time uh, for a European uh, solution which uh, encompasses a principle of solidarity in addressing what is essentially uh, a European uh, uh, problem. Uh, and of course, the protection of the external borders is only one dimension of our of a comprehensive migration uh, policy. We need um, uh, to talk about returns, uh, and we also need to demonstrate that we can provide legal pathways um, for those either fleeing persecution or those seeking economic opportunity, but with our rules, um, not with the rules of the smugglers. Um, so again, thank you very much for the excellent cooperation um, um, we've had on, uh, on this uh, file. And thank you also for understanding what it means to be on the external borders uh, of the uh, European Union, doing a very difficult job protecting not just you know, the Greek borders, but also the borders uh, of the uh, European Union. that your meeting is taking place four days after the Greek elections where Nea Demokratia has won more than 40% of the seats and an absolute majority. So what is the message of the Greek elections for uh, the Europe and uh, for the EPP also uh, ahead of the European elections? Thank you very much. So uh, I start by saying that uh, the result is unequivocal. Uh, the Greeks uh, voted decisively for growth and for the enhancement of Greece's international presence. A stable government, uh, such as the one that the Greeks have just elected with the leadership of Kyriakos Arki, uh, to Europe's unity, uh, to our ambition to effectively act on the geopolitical level and to push through the much needed reforms at EU level, whether they be in the migration area, in the digital area, in the climate area. One year ahead, of the European elections, we need pro-European leaders who have a clear vision for Europe and who are deeply committed to our common values. And I'm standing right next to one. Thank you. Thank you for your um, uh, kind words. Again, we're very happy that we have secured a, a second mandate. We've actually increased our share of the vote compared to the 2019 elections, something which is highly unusual for an incumbent uh, government. And we remain fully committed uh, to deliver on an ambitious reform agenda. I think you're right to point out that uh, the growth that we create needs to be an inclusive growth, uh, and we need to support um, uh, people, especially more vulnerable people, people uh, who are facing uh, you know, real pain when it comes to the cost of living crisis, especially um, uh, the cost of food uh, and inflation um, related uh, to that. I think we've been able to deliver tangible results uh, on this agenda, and we will continue down that path. And of course, we will always be um, strong supporters uh, of uh, our uh, vision for a stronger uh, Europe. And I'm happy that uh, when we take stock of where we are at the uh, EPP, at uh, every gathering we seem to be adding more, um, uh, um, more participants at the table of heads of state uh, and government. And I think this is uh, a positive uh, indication in light of the European elections which will take place in a year from now.